Welcome, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use the method of cylindrical shells to find the volume of, the, of a solid of revolution. In this case, R is the region bounded by the curve y squared equals x, the line y equals 1, and the y axis. And we will be revolving that about the line x equals negative 1 half. Of course, the best way to begin is with a sketch. All right, so there is my sketch of the region, and the region in particular is this interior portion here. And we'll be rotating that about the line x equals negative one half. And now it would absolutely help to have a three-dimensional sketch of this. All right, so this screenshot is based on that little video you just watched, and the video actually showed you the process of this whole region being rotated about the line x equals negative one half. And we're going to use the method of cylindrical shells to find the volume of this solid. Now in its simplest form, the method of finding volume by cylindrical shells involves multiplying two pi times the radius times the height, and you can do this either with respect to x or with respect to y, but to illustrate this point, I'm just gonna stick to x right now. And now the radius is literally the radius here of this shell. So this is, would be our r, and the height is this distance here. And normally that's f of x, our function. In this example, it's not quite that. So we did not rotate about the y-axis. So our radius cannot be x, because this distance is x. Our radius is actually this distance. And this portion of the distance is x, but what is this portion of the distance? If you said 1 half, you're correct. So our radius in this case is 1 half plus x. Okay, now that we have our radius, let's go ahead and figure out what our height is. And now this distance here is one. And the height of our shell is this portion right here. That's the height of our shell. Well, what is this portion here? Well, in order to figure that out, I'm gonna rewrite y squared equals x as y equals the square root of x. And this length or this distance here is actually the square root of x. So h plus the square root of x is equal to one. This makes h equal to one minus the square root of x. Okay, now that we have our radius and our height, we can actually represent the volume of this solid using the cylindrical shells method. So our volume is equal to two pi times the integral of r, which is one half plus x times one minus x to the one half power dx. And our limits of integration start at this minimum x of zero to this upper value of one. Multiplying, we end up with a volume of two pi times the integral from zero to one of x minus x to the three halves power plus one half minus x to the one half over two. And this is with respect to x. Integrating, we end up with a volume of two pi times x squared over two minus two over five x to the five halves power plus minus x to the three halves power. And when we multiply this one half here by the reciprocal of three halves, we'll just end up with a three in the denominator. And this is of course evaluated from zero to one so this is two pi times four over 15, 
or just 8 pi over 15. So the volume of this solid here in purple is 8 pi over 15. I hope this video was helpful.